Well, it's Saturday, which means if I don't have to do uh, things for other people, like if my chore list is relatively empty, I can fiddle around with some other stuff like this. This is my 5M23. Uh, my brain doesn't work. Battery birthday 5M236A20. Okay, so I've never opened one of these before. I mean, I've certainly opened, you know, one piece monocoque cases, but I don't know. I don't know what the system is going to be under here. I'm not quite sure. We got us a rotating ring. There's going to be a one direction, 120 click, mezzle click. No, no, no. There isn't. These are, it's bi-directional. There's not going to be any spring. Well, actually, I don't know what we're going to find. Anyway, we got to get it open. I have the, there it is. There is the new capacitor. These are in theory more modern and it will be, it should give us more than three days, I hope. But I'm not honestly sure. What do we got? Do we got a cutout? Why? I, I'm gonna have to clean this case. It's probably never been apart. Yikes, look at the filth. Uh, I don't think that's my cutout. Might not even have one. There's a pretty good gap on there. Let's put it straight up and see what we find. Hmm. I just don't see a gap. I mean, a, a fingernail cutout. Let me put that here. Let's try to just... Let's just go for it. Okay, there we are. This is the plastic wrap used for protecting watches, like when you mail them out, but it's also really good for stuff like this. Just like that, straight pressure in. Okay, let's see what we're gonna find. People, look at that, peoples of Earth. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a screw down crystal ring. Is this a cartridge or does the whole thing come off? Uh, it does have a click ball. Click ball fell out. Where is the click ball? I can replace them. Isn't that interesting though? Yeah, Mr. Click ball is missing. It's got to be here. I normally only ever see this kind of behavior with 6309s, 6105s. I'm, frankly, I'm kind of amazed, darn it, that one of this, you know, later models did this. We're definitely going to have to clean the case, as you see. Yeah, this, this deal with having a, you know, a click ball with the spring, that's a, that's a really Seiko thing to do. I'm, yeah, it's just, I thought they moved away from this. Okay, so I need a basket. We'll get one in a moment. Where in the world did that click ball go? I mean, I'll find it. No worries. Okay, so what do we got going on here? So before I want to open this, I'm going to want to clean it. Oh, I did find my click ball. It was just right over there, it just rolled away. So there's my, darn it, there's my, darn it, spring. And there's my click ball. Not bad. So I gotta clean this up before I open it because, you know, try to minimize the amount of crap that's going to be, you know, in and around the watch when you're opening it. Yeah. Let's get all the, the grossies out of here. That really is interesting. It's interesting. They kept doing that. I mean, by the time this thing was made, uh, th this, like the 7002s had already gone to a cartridge type system. It's just very interesting. 
Somebody made that decision. I'm not sure why. Because the way these work is you, they put these, they put the spring and the ball in here and then they crimp down the outer edge. I've tried to sort of re-crimp stuff. I haven't had a ton of luck doing it. I can try again. I haven't tried it in a while. I think we got some okay things. Now, let's get some cleaner on here. Oh, darn it, I'm out of cleaner. Gotta get some more. Hang on. Okay, good. Get that. Too much. Too much. This is just naphtha. It's lighter fluid. It's a very, very, very light, light solvent, just to kind of clean things up. Makes makes it sure that I have a better chance of not digging stuff into the inside. Yeah, wow. Look, we got us. That is an old rotating ring. Wow. Look at that. This thing's old enough. The rotating ring is that stiff. Huh. Weird. So, second verse, same as the first. Yeah, look at all the crap that's on here. I'm going to have to clean this whole thing by hand because that's what needs to happen. It isn't too dirty inside. Let's, uh, let's flip this around and try it again. So, I, I mean, I am going to go through. There's no anodization that I have to worry about. So I am going to run this right through the main cleaner. But I do like to clean stuff up first. It's a good habit. And you can see what you're doing. And uh, you can see if there's anything being hidden by rust or any of that other crap. So we'll see. Still, it's a beautiful piece. Okay, let us now, let us now open it. <clears throat> Our handy dandy diddly thing comes back on. Our protective film. Okay, let's get our, let's get our wrench. Our LNG wrench. There we are. Are we, are we firmed down? Uh -huh. No, we were not. That's why we double check. Are we seated properly? That's what you do. Mm, mm, mm. You don't try to just give it one go and push it. Push it real good. Ah, screw it. I'll stop being special. I want to see what's in this. I want to see what's in this cartridge. Ah, there we are. Off, out. Have you not unscrewed? Oh, am I still unscrewing? Ah. I'm really impressed. A screw down crystal ring. That is, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's, that's, that's a high end diddly. That's a high end deal. What do we got here? Got a beveled flat it looks okay. Where is my suction cup? It's another thing here. You don't ever want to get in here and start trying to lever this thing out. Um, if I can find it, I have a suction cup that I use specifically for this purpose. Uh, let me find that. I don't know where I hung Somebody's it. driving their homemade um, go-karts around the neighborhood. 
So when you're pulling out a crystal and a gasket that have been sitting for a real long time, you want to try to sort of break the seal. I'm not, I'm not doing any damage to the seal itself. I'm just separating the outside wall of the seal from the inside wall of the case sealing surface. Just want to break that. Now, let's see if I'm right. See how I'm going to do here? Just like that. Ooh, drop. Did you just use a, like a... Oh, God, that's from what the um, the uh, kids had their hangy thing. So you made your own tool. Oh, no, I used... I had another version of this. It was a little bigger. I used it for years and years and years because if you go in... This is a single piece case. If you go in with like... A, you're trying to get this thing out and not not that I ever did this, but you go and you're trying to, you know, get the crystal out of it's really seized in. It's so easy to go clunk and then you just scratch the yeah. the heck out of it, which is no good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I I use this all the time. Mm. So yeah, I'm changing the capacitor in this baby. So what do we have? Do we have do we have a well we have a screw down crown. We've got to have a front stem release. Usually what I do, uh, well, no, it's right there. Hey, look at that. And it's the same kind as a 6000 series. Just got to get your angle right. I had to push a little bit more this way with the uh, crown all the way in. Wow, look at the length of that stem. Wow. Single piece, one piece stem. Some of these old, older Seiko crowns I've discovered um, are screw in, screw out. Like you can replace the stem and you don't lose the crown. This is from uh, this is from a Seiko 2205 uh, Lady Diver, but note it's done like a 6105. Pretty neat. But the greatest thing, of course, is that you can replace the stem. Okay, so we got this out. Let's get that. Let's get this out of here. Hang on. Where is my handy dandy thingy? Where did I put it this time? Can I throw it in here? I really am. I'm astonishing. I really am. I'm amazing. Even more so. Problem is, is I move things without thinking about it at all. And all of a sudden it's just gone. And I'm like, what? Hang on. And there she blows. There's her case. And here is our movement. So nice thing about having this thing out is even though it's quartz, it is basically self-charging, right? Because the weight moves like so. But it does have bearings. Hey, that looks like the same screw they've always used. Huh, that wild. We got two coils. That's wild, two coils. Hmm. Okay, it looks like this goes under here. Plate's a little dirty. I don't know what 184S means. A little dirty inside the case, which I, I find surprising. Hey, look at that. Someone tried to fix that click ball. See, look, they used, that's old school. They tried, they used a punch to try to close the hole up. I mean, I don't think Seiko would have done that. I mean, they have machines for that. Isn't that weird? I wonder if this capacitor has been replaced before. And we got, yep, we got a little, we got a, a little circlip on the end of that button I'm going to have to pull. It's a nice case. Another one of Seiko's things, they use these little um, 
nylon inserts here, and those hold the gasket inside the crown tube. A, a needlessly complicated system, if you ask me, and apparently not super useful. Please note, rust. Okay, so I'll deal with that in a second. Let's look at our 5M. There's one of your, the few jewels that these things have is right here. And this reduction wheel, intermediary wheel here. Let us get that. Let us get that. Not with that one. Uh, gosh, I've got to straighten these. I'm sorry. I have to get a new. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Come on, baby. There we go. Again, you're, you're not trying to do the straight pull. Oh, you're, you're, it's the same kind of thing as what an impact hammer does. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, until you can get it to go. Because every time you turn, it moves a little bit. Yep. Same exact winding weight screw used in all, the entire 6000 series. It's the same exact one. 6105, 6106, 6119, 6309, 6306, any of those. Put that right over there. Hmm, okay, over there. Dandy little gear. Okay. So it looks like there's only two screws. I didn't necessarily need to do that. So this is a standard caged pole bearing. Framework with oscillating diddlies. That's crazy. That's wild that they brought that tech back. Okay, well, first things first, let's get the old capacitor out of there. We got one screw. We got... And you gotta be careful, because these screws are right next to the coils. I'm on. I'm on. There we go. Wow, it comes with everything. It comes with everything. Look, it even it even has the plate bit. You can you swap the whole thing. Wow. So let's move these things up right over here. We know where they are. Now they had a sub, but this looks like the exact same part. That is crazy. Okay, it's in a sealed packet. Let's go over here. Let's open that. Might be an old blade. Oh yeah, it's really old blade. I gotta I gotta swap that out. Thankfully though, I have another knife. Equally as dull. That is why. Come on. That is why I'm supposed to change my blades more often than I do. Okay, so there's our capacitors. Here is our new. That's really interesting. These, a new capacitor like this is 14 bucks. 
So, I mean, it's not bad. And we got us, you know, something else you could do, by the way, if your uh, X-Acto knife is, is not real happy, you find anything that's a hardened steel like this. This is a really old thing. And you can just, I mean, just draw this down backwards. This is a really, really, really quick and cheap and easy, fast, temporary fix. I have brand new blades. I just don't feel like dealing with it. I don't know if it'll be any better. We'll try. Because I gotta open this too. Nope, no better. I showed off for nothing. Well, I mean, actually, I did cut it. Look at that. See? Ah. There we go. Come here. Off, off. No more static. Stop that. Yeah, it's a 920. Come on. Open. Oh, for... That's what I get. Edro. Edro. There. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Okay, so let us survey our new parts. Let's remove our old ones. There's the old guard. Looks perfectly fine now. And then this. Comes right out. Lithium ion. Here's the new one. Uh, what I want to do is... Well, I can't because I don't know where it went. Somebody must just, ah, I found it, I found it. Yes, okay, so let's, let's date this. It is August, August 26. Oh, no wonder this thing doesn't write. Somebody destroyed the tip of it. Eight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another one. <sighs> Annoying. Well, we might actually have, I think it's got a metal date wheel. Wow. This thing's mostly metal. Isn't that something? It's got the black spacer block. That's like Arnie tech. But look at that, the movement is metal. Isn't that really something? I see two jewels. Okay. So we got, uh, I have the capacitor in. I wasn't sure. It looked like there was a, a peg post right here on this spacer block that was supposed to go through this, but I can't find it. I don't think I'm right. I think I'm wrong. You call it maybe a locating pin? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yes, I know. I should service it. I know. I want to do one, one experimental fix at a time. Pretty wild that it's all metal, huh? I just realized I never checked to see if it's running. Look at that, peoples. Cool. Okay, so I now am gonna finish. I'm gonna put that weight back on the back. I did go ahead and lubricate the framework with ball bearings. It looks, it looks real similar to a 7000 series actually. But I could be wrong. Blow this off. 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 Blow this off.
this off. Oop, there goes the go-kart again. It's interesting because it's, it's not like, you know, teenagers running around. It's uh, uh, like a couple in their 30s. Like, uh, I mean, she appears to have her own go-kart. Spencer, why didn't you check the alignment first? What did I forget? What did I forget? Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Get on there. Yes, I know I should have checked the alignment. Fine, I'll check the alignment. So sideways offset also just like the 7000 series and the 6000 series and the 4006 series all of them have that offset I wonder why it has two coils maybe it's for the, the charging business Okay, now I'm going to clean the case. So uh, the way these are, the number one, these tiny circlips, people are justifiably scared of losing them. They do go kapoink because they're tiny, but uh, you can still find them. Uh, Seiko used them in a million, billion things. In fact, I think they're even still available. But any of like the smaller quartz watches, especially the LCDs, will have, whoops, will have this. The one thing you need to be afraid about with these is you do have to put some force into them. Some careful force. You gotta hold in the button and then catch one side with one blade and then catch the other one. And that, my friends, is how we do it. There it is out. Come on. Okay. Get over there. One thing about these is, man, it is so easy to lose them. Just, just the one thing to note is that they're not hard to get hold of. That is going to get there, but it is annoying, isn't it? So here is what we got to do. This thing doesn't have a... Where's the gasket in this thing? Is it inside the case? I think it is. I think it's a ring gasket deep in there. I think so, yeah. This one here... These are kind of a pain to get out. Okay, got that off. There this is. And you can see that little ridge right there. That snaps into the inside of the case. That needs to be cleaned. Gasket, which appears to be damaged. It's not dead though. I am going to have to think about that gasket in there. I need something pokey. I'll be right back. So we got us a spring rest washer. Hmm. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And there is, in theory, our gasket, if I can get it out, hang on, so there we are, there are the components of the power check push button -y thing, there's the button itself, this is like the little keeper plate thing, and this gets pushed in and it compresses not the not one, but two gaskets in here, Seiko did that sometime, I'm trying to remember, 
where they also did this. Boy, I can't remember. Anyway, this is all cleaned. I'm going to be ready to clean that up and run that through. Ah, look at that. I didn't look at this. Look at the inside of the crystal. It's another screw down. This thing is like a Marine Master, uh, except that the, the lower part of the screw in thing, making this a crystal cartridge, is on the inside instead of the outside. Isn't that cool, huh? Neat. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's, I'll come back. I'm gonna clean all this stuff and I'll come back. Okay, so here's the movement. You saw that. I did look at the jewels. This one's six jewels, by the way. There's the case. She's all clean. New gaskets in place. New crown gasket in place. New nylon keeper ringy diddly thing. So I then am going to do something I haven't done yet. Well, no, I take it back. I've done one time. My new servicing stamp. I'm not 100% how to use that, but how's that look? Hey, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Awesome. There we go. I am going to, I'll sign and date that in my own way, and I'll get better at centering it. But it does look pretty neat, doesn't it? Okay, let me put it together. There it is. So we got us a new, uh, got us a new capacitor in there. Case is 100% clean. It's got all new gaskets. Uh, I didn't mess with the crystal. There was no reason to. We get a smooth clicky thing because I put our, uh, I put the click ball back. It does not, this by the way, the 5M does not have a way to adjust its accuracy. This is a pretty darn accurate watch. We get to 12, let's see. This originally, the scale is for, it says it's good for 48 hours, but I bet you it runs longer than that. But I don't, I don't know, because this capacitor is much higher, much higher capacity. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll give it a whirl. Should be fun. And now it's just a matter of, whoops, look at that. Sorry, I was unpacking something in the garage. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what strap to put it on. Hmm. Well, I'll figure that out. Okay, thank you so much for watching.